shit weather today man so I dropped a video not too long ago talking about you can retire between 12 to 15 years if you start investing in property now a man's come underneath that video and asks what's the first step the first step is to get yourself a decent trade education or skill become electrician become an IT man get yourself a degree at university and that get yourself a career where someone wants to pay you some decent money get in the right frame of mind as well once you start earning that decent money don't live this lavish lifestyle forget about spending money on luxury goods forget about going to this country that country just because everybody's going there just because you want to find out what all the hype is about you want to put yourself in a position where you can earn a decent money so that you can save money so that you can jump on the property ladder and that but the problem is man them don't want to study man them don't want to sit in the classroom for four to five years if you have that mindset where you can't be bothered to stick it out for the long you will never let me tell you something you will never succeed in the property game because when you buy that first property unless you buy it in london you're gonna have to wait a few years for that property to go up in value so that that one property you can start borrowing against that property obviously in the meantime in the meantime, yeah, you can start saving up and that and buying the next property, but you're not going to be able to run this leverage game if you can't be bothered to wait five, six years. And if you can't be bothered to sit in the classroom for five, six years and study and that, well, what's the chance of you being able to have the mindset to sit down for five, six years? Remember, in that time, you, you can't live the lavish lifestyle, you know. You can't buy the luxury goods. You can't go to Mykonos or IB for INAP or Dubai and that all the time. You can go there maybe once a year, all in moderation and that. You can't go there three, four times a year. You have to get in the frame of mind, bro. So the first step is get yourself a skill that be an IT man. Get yourself a trade, be an electrician, gas engineer. Go to university, get a good degree so that someone can pay you some decent money. You want to be on 35 40 grand a year by the time you're at age 25 and that it's possible there's plenty of people out here right now that are on them wages there's nothing it's nothing and when you do get qualified when you are able to earn the 35 40 grand a year forget about being paye become a self-employed subcontractor doesn't mean you have to go out and find your own business you're just not on the company's books so therefore you're not even going to be on the 35 40 grand a year you're going to be on the 60s and the 70s and that you're going to be on the 300 pounds a day the theme is you want to maximize the amount of money that you can earn every day. Why would you sit and ride on 160 pound a day when you could be taking home 300 pound a day? All right, you've got tax to pay at the end of the year, but you know what I'm saying? If you've got a good accountant, you know what I'm saying? So why would you want to be earning 160 pound a day when you could be earning even 250 or 280 or 300 pound a day? Don't make no sense. So get in the right frame of mind. Get yourself a skill, get yourself a trade, get yourself a decent career. Get yourself, sorry, a decent a degree so that you can get yourself a decent career. So that someone wants to pay you some decent money and that. Uh, become a self-employed person, start investing in property. It's so simple, man.